known this is only a spice. Today I'm going to show you I made this on corned beef and potatoes. You guys will see yet if you guys are fine. So, see you in a little bit. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick lunch. Very quick. Um, I'll be using a corned beef. I'll show you how to um, stir fry a corned beef. And I have um, two small potatoes, so I'll be adding this into the corned beef. And I also, have, I also prepared some seasoning already. Here I have here, in my seasoning, I have on some onion, I have some garlic, I have some basil, I have some thyme, and I have some organo. Well, you know, you use season of your choice. You know, you don't have to use any what I have here. Just what I have, I use. So just giving you an idea. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open the corned beef and I'm gonna um, peel the potato and cut it up finely, and then I'll show you how I get this very quick lunch together. So I'm gonna show you. I just cleaned the corned beef, and I, you know, usually they got. Sometimes they carry a lot of fat, but this is very lean. If it has fat, then you scrape it out the fat on the side, but it's good. So you don't have to worry about it. I'll also be adding in this potato and I started cleaning already. So, um, you know, just peel it, basically just peel it. And, you know, you don't peel it, you just add in your, um, you chip it up fine, but, um, I start cleaning it already. So this is basically how you do it. And um, I'm gonna show you the next step when I finish this up, and I'm gonna be cutting it up. So now I wanna show you real quick how I'm gonna, um, see, I peel the potato and wash it. So now what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna chip it very thinly sliced because I need it to, you know, just fry a little, and then we add in the corned beef. So I wanna do as thin as I can. You know, you could do it thick, but I think it's good because the corned beef is already cooked. Don't want much cooking. So I basically would do it thinly like this. See? Very thin. So I'll, I finish these up and let you see the next step. So basically I'm going to clean all of these. Um, chip very thinly slice and then I'm going to um, show you the next step. So now I prepare everything, the corned beef, uh, the potato and the seasoning. And um, next step I'm going to show you how I'm going to fry it. And um, um, the the corned beef now, you know, you could slice it up or you could, you know, to use it. So what I do, usually I would do, I would slice it up if I put the whole thing in there. Like this. Or you crumble it up. You could crumble it up, make it um, like mince way, or you could leave it like this. So now, the next step I'll show you what I do. Now I add my, um, I have my pan on and I'll be adding in a little oil, just a little because these corned beef, they carry their own little fat. So I would say about a two tablespoon or a tablespoon is good. So let it heat a little. And then I'll be throwing in the um, force. I will I put I'll put in the potato force to get a little cook. Which I would like to see the aisle is hot. Yeah, it is hot, so I'll in the potato. I would not throw salt because it's the corned beef comes with your own salt. So I'll let it um, cook a little and then I add in the seasoning. So I'm going to put a lid on this and let it, up, um, let it cook. 
put a medium simmer, um, a medium heat to cook. So I'm just checking to see how it's coming, right? It's frying, so let's take the fry a little more and then it should finish. And this time I'll add in the seasoning. Then I add the corn beef. Because I want the potato to get nice and soft before I put the corn beef in. Looking good. So I'll put a lid back on it and let it cook. And then I'll show you when I'm ready to put in the corn beef. Now just check in to see how it's coming. Potato look nice coming in nicely. The notice of the connect is getting soft. That's what I want in here. Some of them still need to cook. Oh, it's coming nice. You know, sometimes you can add like maybe a tablespoon of water to this to help the potato to get soft. So done faster. But I put it on slow heat. And it's cooked. It's alright. So now I'm going to add in the, um, the corned beef. Smell delicious. Now I want to show you this. Yeah, so what I was saying that you could take this beef and cook it like this, just like this. Like, if you want to use it like whole like this. Or you could cut it up small pieces. So I'm going to leave it just whole like this. But you have an option, you could um, cut it up small pieces. So I'm going to put a lid on it and just let it come down a little more and it's finished. Looking very nice, nicely, nicely. So I'll put a lid back and then I'll let you see the next one. So it's looking good. I want to um, check it. See, it's now it's broken up because the, the fat from the meat is melting, so it's getting, you know, but it's still looking good. So I just want a little more and it finishes. All oh, looking good. It smells delicious. The seasoning. It smells really good. So my can corn beef. Nicely done. Very, very nicely done. It smells good. And I want to show you that um this corned beef here, the potato is um well cooked and with the seasoning tastes really really great so um i want to say thank you guys for looking this is Oina spice um i would like you guys to if please subscribe and um for more good recipe coming up and this corned beef you have to try it you will love this corned beef because it the way i prepare it it has such a flavor on it so um i would um like you guys to try it and let me know how you think it turned out also i would like to um tell you that this corned beef now the way you, it's here you could eat it with um roti flatbread you could eat it with bread 
um, anything you want. You could even make a sandwich with the bread on it, or make a wrap with the roti on it. But you know, that's how you could eat it. So um, when you tr when you try it with the, the bread or the roti, you'll see how delicious it tastes.